Well, I think I've always been interested in how genes work. Um, what are the signals that uh, specify when to switch the gene on, what stage of development, what cell type, um, and also how much of the gene product to make. The repeat expansion diseases are a group of disorders that all result from an, an intergenerational increase in the number of repeat units of a small uh, DNA sequence. We've identified um, some genes um, that we know are important for either protecting the genome against expansion or are actually required for expansion. And now we're just trying to put together all those pieces and really understand the molecular details of that expansion mechanism. In the case of Fragile X syndrome, we know that the gene product uh, FMRP is missing. And the gene is silenced, you don't make the protein. The protein is important for learning and memory. And in this context, we know that the repeats can be deleterious. But there are also some reason to think, um, partly because these repeats are so highly conserved during evolution, that perhaps these repeats also serve some useful purpose. Our work is sort of focused originally on mostly doing sort of the biochemistry of the repeats. But we also now have a mouse model for this whole group of disorders, the fragile X related disorders, and we're using the mouse model to understand not only how the repeats cause disease, but how the repeats expand in the first place. This is uh, genotyping data where they isolate DNA from these mice, and they then do a very specific kind of PCR, uh, polymerase chain reaction to analyze the repeat length. And we run it on a very sensitive, high-resolution gel system that allows us to determine with great, really quite great accuracy the, the number of repeats that have been added um, with each generation. And so um, by looking at the effect of different genes on the expansion frequency, you learn something about the pathways that are involved in generating those expansions.